for checking in on Pizza Sutro. Once again, we can always count on you crazy cats. The world's been going crazy. Uh, March Madness got canceled. Total bummer. Ours didn't though. You guys voted for uh, whatever pizza you guys wanted to win in this bracket. And the winner of our March Madness pizza was Connie's Pizza. The classic thin crust uncured pepperoni is what we chose to go with. So hang on tight. Let's try this out. You guys voted for it. You got it. For our Connie's classic thin crust uncured pepperoni, preheat oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove all packaging. Bake for 16 to 20 minutes or until cheese is bubbly and begins to turn golden brown. Carefully remove from oven and let stand one minute before enjoying. In this meanwhile section, we thought about doing a history of Connie's, but we decided against that. So for this episode, we're going to do a movie. This movie has an all-star cast. John Cusack, John Malkovich, Steve Buscemi, Danny Trejo, Dave Chappelle, and none other than, you know, our favorite guy, Nicolas Cage. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Connie's for Con Air. Put the bunny back in the box. Doesn't get any weirder than Nick Cage in any role. So the plot kind of goes like this. Nick Cage gets sentenced 10 years for killing these guys who were messing around with his pregnant girlfriend. Take this, you son of a bitch. Uh, in those 10 years he was in prison, he was sending his daughter and his wife letters, but uh, on his way home, at when he's about ready to be released, they take an airplane called the Jailbird. And that's where Con Air kind of takes its twist. And when they're on this plane, he's got tons of other convicts. Uh, one of them being Cyrus the Virus, who is uh, John Malkovich. We're going to Disneyland. You're lying, Cyrus. So are you, Vince. Oh, nothing makes me sadder than the agent lost his bladder in the Airplane. He hijacks the plane. Nick Cage is like, oh no, we need to like fight and do this stuff. And I just want to see my daughter. And that's basically what's going on. But there's a lot of like weird highlights about this movie. Like my favorite part, aside from the crazy cast and seeing John Malkovich bald and a bad guy. And also Nick Cage has long hair. And it's really weird because Nick Cage shouldn't really have long hair. Yeah, he kind of has a mullet. I mean, some weird Southern jail mullet, whatever. I mean, that's what it is. But Steve Buscemi's character is just out of this world. Like, they dress him up as the most, like, lethal, worst, like, bad guy out of all of them, but he ends up, like, having a tea party with this little girl in part of the movie, and he, like, sings songs. It's really weird. Another fun fact, Dave Chappelle, all of his lines, he made them up on the fly. The casino that they run into with the airplane at the end, that was a real casino. They They postponed the destruction of that casino for, I don't know, like a month or something. And they had to do that all in one shot. On that note, let's uh, cash in and dig into this Connie's Pizza. Well, our Connie's pizza is done, pulled out of the oven. It looks absolutely delicious. Look at all the spices, the thick cut uncured pepperoni. Look at the uh, the pepperoni grease, you know, penetrating into the crust. That screams to me tons of flavor. And I'm ready to try out this March Madness flavor. I didn't burn my mouth, guys. So the bottom of the Connie's pizza is all kinds of cornmeal, and not a lot of pizzas, not a lot of frozen pizzas anyway, use cornmeal. Now there's tons of grease coming off the bottom, if you could see, 
which is kind of exciting because all that grease gets tossed right into the crust and right into the sauce and into the cheese. And second up, that crunch, the pepperoni that is leaking all that pepperoni juice into all the crust and cheese all over the place. It's not really like affecting the crunchiness of the crust, which is really awesome. The um, sauce, there's a lot of it and a lot of flavor. And I think that's partially due to the uh, seasoning that's on the top of the pizza. So all this, all of the, most of the flavor of this pie is coming from the seasonings and that around the top. The sauce, as there's a lot of it, doesn't really, you know, penetrate as a lot of flavor. So there's a lot of pepperoni grease in this. It's a messy pizza, as you can plainly see. Dig it into this pie. There is a light, is a messy pie. And uh, I'm gonna make the rest of Pizza Sutra try this pie. And they're gonna get all messy too. So we got together, we ate the pie, and this is what we think of it for $5.99 for a Connie's Thin Crust Uncured Pepperoni Pie. For our crust, we got a six out of eight slices. The crust held up to a lot. There was a lot of grease coming out of those pepperonis, and that crust held on to it like a champ. It didn't, didn't get soggy, stayed crispy. So that's awesome. Good job, crust. For our sauce, now there was a lot of sauce, but it kind of lacked on the flavor and it was kind of thin and got everywhere. I don't mind, I like sauce all over the place. I don't know about you guys, but I, I think it is really like an intimate thing between me and a pizza. Sauce everywhere. <laughs> that we got, that got four out of eight slices. And for our cheese, four out of eight slices because it was flavorful, it was good, but it was, didn't really melt right in the middle and it cooked too much on the outsides. Now that has a lot to do with the pepperonis that were on there, but still, we should, you should be aware of that. For our toppings, it got a five out of eight slices. Those pepperonis were awesome. They were greasy, they were delicious, and they made the whole pie taste like pepperoni, which is awesome. They're thick. Um, maybe they could have cooked a little more, but that's okay. There's also some seasoning, which kind of took up some of the flavor from, from the sauce. So the sauce wasn't, you know, there's separation and the pepperonis didn't interfere with the sauce and things like that. That was really good. So yeah, five out of eight slices there for a total of four and a half slices for this pie. So this pie specifically, I think would be absolutely phenomenal for our modders out there. Reason being that crust, held up to that super oily pepperoni and that super moist sauce, and it was still crunchy. So I would recommend going out there, getting this pie, botting the crap out of it with whatever you wanna put on it, and letting us know what happens. Till next time, guys, pizza is love. Remember to like, click, subscribe, share, you know, uh, go on MySpace and talk about us, whatever you guys wanna do. Just remember, pizza is love. Be cool, guys, don't get that corona. Bye!